Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a modded 1.16.1 server. Um, in Minecraft, of course. Um, so let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is go to File Explorer, go to somewhere where you'll remember where your server is. In my case, I'm gonna make mine in uh, my HDD drive here. Right click, new folder, name it whatever you want, whatever you remember. So, um, modded mc 1.16.1 that's what mine's gonna be we're gonna minimize that and then we're gonna go straight to firefox chrome whatever you use um so what you'll need is a uh, forge which is pretty much the program you need to run any mods <laughs> um we go uh, I'll, I'll post the links in the description so uh if you want to go for 1.16 make sure you click 1.16 here and the only one of course 1.16.1 Go ahead and click installer. And then you have to wait six seconds for the ad. And then once you're done that, save the file, minimize that. Um, so everyone, everyone who's going to play on this server needs to do this. So make sure you get everyone to um, download the same one as that you're downloading. And now, once you download it, go ahead and go to Downloads, run it, and then you want Install Client. Uh, install, everyone's going to need to install Client. What that does is you'll be able to run this version of Minecraft into your Minecraft launcher. Click OK. Let it finish. It may take some time. Um, if not, good for you. There you go. That's done. And then... For the person hosting the server, you're going to have to run it again. And then you have to go to install server. This is only for the people that's going to be hosting the server. Now you have to go find your um, Minecraft server uh, folder. So we place ours in the HDD. Right here. That's where we placed ours. Do that and press OK. This will take longer than the client. Because it's uh, downloading and installing all the server files you need for modded. I'm finishing time now. I'm gonna keep these uh this video raw. So without edits or anything just so you can see how long it takes me to do it so that it's normal for it to take longer for you and i have a i got a pretty beefy computer so it'll take longer probably for most people other than me all right so once that once that's done you can delete this or do whatever you want with this make sure your friends have uh, installed a client because everyone's going to need that so now that we're done that, we're going to go straight to the folder here. Uh, modded Minecraft. There we go. So now you should have all these. Um, don't worry about this. Just keep this here. This is just a regular one, but this is for this one you would need the most. Now we're going to have to run that. So don't worry if it doesn't pop up at first. Um, you will need to open up the EULA, this thing right here, and hit true. Nothing's going to pop up for nothing's gonna pop up for the first time you want to open up eula hit true hit save exit and then you want to run it again anytime now like i said it's normal for it not to pop up right away it'll pop up eventually and there it is But how you know this is it's doing its thing, how you know it's done is it'll start saying an average tick. Like that. That's how you know the server's up. So now once the server's up, and it'll say done here. So now once the server's up, you can close out of this. Just type in stop and then enter and it'll close. So now we want to uh, allocate more RAM to this server. So I already have a pre, like a pre-made um, little thing here. So I'll show you guys how to create it though. 
I'll just take this code here. Go back here, go here. All right, so now you want to right click here. You want to click new and then click uh, text document. It doesn't matter what you name it. Open it and type in this code in it. Um, the only difference is, uh, pause the video so you can type in the code. The only difference is this here, we're gonna have to change it. So now once you typed in the code, go back to here and then go to the for the forge launcher here that you uh, use to run the server. Right click, rename, and just copy this text right here. Copy, click elsewhere. Go here, change server to the, to the name you just copied. And then go to here, click save as. Down here, click all files as a, as a type. And here, just name it start or um, run, whichever you want, it doesn't matter. So start, run, begin, I don't know. And make sure you write dot bat after. Let's say that's a, a batch file and then save. Exit that. You can delete your, your text document here. And here you go, we have a new, um, text document here. Now let me just explain a little bit real quick, quick. This number right here is your maximum RAM that you're allowing uh, to your server. And this right here is your minimum RAM that you're allowing to the server. So right now I'm going between eight gigs and 12 gigs of RAM. Um, you can change this to G. If you wanna just keep it short, nice and simple. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, you can change these numbers here just uh, anything above 2,000 because that's the minimum already. All right, so that's it. So now, how are we gonna have our friends join? So you're gonna either need Hamachi or something else. We're gonna use Hamachi for this one. Um, I already have it installed, but I'll show you where to go get it. So Hamachi, you just gotta go to vpn.net. I'll, I'll put the description below as well. Hit download now. Just like that, save it wherever. I'm gonna save mine in my downloads, like every other normal person. There we go. Once that's done, you go to your downloads folder. Right here. Double click it and run it. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna do this. Just keep following it, and um, you'll have to make an account at the end. Uh, you just need an email and password. Now, once you have it, it, it should pop up. Um, I'm gonna get my Amachi right now. If I guess I didn't save it here. Oops. There you go, I'm starting Amachi. This is how Amachi is gonna look like. Turn on the power on button here. Probing. I already have one here. I'm gonna delete it just to show you guys how to make one. So this is what it's gonna look like. What you need to do is hit create a new network. Name it whatever you remember. So I'm gonna name mine Caesar modded MC8282. My favorite number. Password, we'll just have one, two, three, one, two, three. Just like that. So now your friends are gonna need a mochi as well. Uh, your friends once they log in and uh, have it all downloaded and stuff. Go to network, join existing network, have them type in this name here, and then here just type in the password, join, and then you'll see um, you'll see their name. Um, so if you want them to know who you are, you just gotta go, you gotta change your desktop name and stuff. Uh, pretty sure maybe you could do that with preference. Not really, oh yeah, right here. You have preference right here. All right, so. So now what you need to do is find yourself some mods. But once you have mods, you'll be able to play happily with your friends. So I'm gonna use this website for the mods for now. Um, the mods I'm gonna use is just basic nether wars. I already tested it and it worked. So I'm gonna use this one to show you guys it works. So let's go ahead and download this right here. I'll send a link to this um, website as well. Uh, we want 1.16.1, download, download, save. All right, so we won't need Chrome no more. We already downloaded everything. So now if you're 
if you're just the host friend, if you're just a guy who uh, wants to play on the server, all you have to do is go to your downloads right here, go down here, go to percent app data percent, go to Minecraft, go to mods. Oh, I already had it here. I'm good with that. And then in mods, you just want to drag that in here, just like that. Or if you um, want to be certain, just copy and then paste it right in here, just like that. So now everyone's going to have to do this because this is your client. You got to have the mod in your client before you play. So everyone's going to have to put them in your app, you know, app data, Minecraft mods folder, um, even the server host. Now, if you're the server host, you're going to have to do this and you're going to have to do, um, you have to go to your folder, go to mods, and you got to put it in here as well, just so it matches and you're able to play it on a multiplayer server. So once we did that, then we won't need this no more. You want to go to server right here, like that, open up Pomachi again. And then right click here, copy IPv4, and scroll down to server IP, and just paste it in there. Just like that. Now, if you guys are playing on a cracked launcher, make sure you guys set online mode to false, which is right here. Online mode to false, this will let people play on a cracked, a cracked launcher. So you want to save that, exit, and uh, there we go. So now if you're people's friend, your friend, tell your friends to right click your name. Your name will pop up down here. Right click your name and hit copy IPv4 so that they can proceed to your server. So now what you want to do is hit start. Allow this to run. We're going to open up Minecraft while we do that. So you should see this here. Just click it and click play. So with modern Minecraft, you'll see a lot more words than normal Minecraft. That's normal. I'm loading a lot more stuff. So as you can see, it's done. It's ready to play. So we're going to move that aside. We're going to let Mojang load. Sorry for the black screen. Just give it a second. There we go. Now you want to go to multiplayer right here. Just like that. Add a server. We'll cop, uh, put our IPv4 in. Done gonna start pinging if it doesn't show up just hit refresh again and uh, let it let it load here as you can see I got full bars it's compatible with the mods and let's join it All right, we're doing it it's encrypting modded servers are gonna take a little bit more to uh, join because they take a lot more um, uh, they have to load in everything one day we'll get in oh let's try again Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry for the trouble. Um, so, I managed to get it to work this time. Sorry, I had to do some firewall problems. Um, anyway, as you can see, we're in now. Spawn a beautiful island. Full bars on top. Um, now, let's op ourselves. Just so we can get to... Um, I don't know if that worked. All right, game mode, oops, creative. As you can see, our things worked here. This is a uh, emerald. We got nether blocks in. Um, they even added a couple things like uranium, osmium, tin, silver, nickel, lead, copper, and aluminum. So uh, yeah, so server's working. Um, 
if you guys have issues please uh leave them in the comments sorry for the black screen and um i'll try my best to uh you know help you guys so thanks for watching guys and uh, as always bye bye